Hello, and welcome to my happy little bubble. So if you're ever in the northeast of England, you need to visit this farm shop. Food's absolutely fantastic. Fresh produce, butchers, all grown on the site. So we'll have a look around. We're going to get some lemons for our lemon curd, and I'm going to pick up some steaks while we're here for tea as well. So we're back from the farm shop and we're going to make lemon curd. Lemon curd is dead straightforward to make and it only has four ingredients. And I guarantee you once you try this, you won't buy it from the shop ever again. So we've got four lemons. Remember they need to be unwaxed lemons. We've got four eggs. These are my uh, free range eggs from the garden from my chickens. We've got 200 grams of caster sugar and 100 grams of free range butter. That is all you need. We've got a bambari over there which is a pan of boiling water and we're going to cook everything in a metal bowl over the top and we're going to bring this together let's get to it so we need three whole eggs and we need one egg yolk okay and remember the better the quality of the egg you can get the better taste in your lemon curd is going to be so three whole eggs one egg yolk and then we're going to whisk them gently together So we need the zest of all four lemons and the juice of all four lemons also. So we add our lemon juice and lemon zest our metal bowl and we add our sugar and our butter and then we take the bowl over to our heat and bring all this together and let it all melt okay so we've brought our bowl over to our pan of boiling water and you must make sure that your pan isn't actually touching the water underneath and we're just going to stir this until that sugar dissolves and that butter melts so that'll take a few minutes so the kitchen's now smelling like the time we were in Sorrento with all of these lemons I like quite a coarse thick grate on my lemon zest which you could probably see you can do yours a lot thinner or smaller if you want but I like a little bite in mine so we're now going to add our eggs and basically we're going to whisk these in gently and we're going to keep cooking for about 10 to 13 minutes whisking and turning um, when we need to until we get the right consistency and I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later on so in with our eggs look at the yellow on that oh, chickens did good and make sure we get every last little bit of sunshine in there and as we said earlier with a good egg we should get a nice rich colour yellow so we're going to start whisking this and bring this together. So we're five minutes in now and you can probably see a colour change and what we're looking for is as you can see that's starting to coat the spoon and the longer we do this another five sort of five to eight more minutes it'll start thickening up and we're looking for that sort of texture 
on the back of the spoon for when we can take it off the heat. So we're about halfway there. Okay, so we're about at the end of our cooking time and we've got a nice coat on the back of the spoon. So now we're going to take it off the heat and we need to keep stirring this every couple of minutes as it cools down. Okay, so as it's cooling we need to keep that stirring going and then we'll be ready to transfer to either a jar or straight onto a plate. So there's our finished lemon curd and as we say there's no artificial flavourings or colourings in there and the quality of those eggs as you can see are really bright rich yellow. So let's serve up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.